I'm still waiting for the day that Ashley tries to peg you or some shit like that. She's actually asked me. Not peg me, but she's asked me if she could stick something up my ass. And I was like, I, I don't know how I feel. I don't, I don't know if I'm down with that. I don't know how I feel about that. She's like, I think you'll like it. Flesh melting. Yeah, I don't know how you ladies do it. Ashley, stop typing and, and, and work on your photos. I'm typing. <laughs> I'm just over here like, what the fuck? All right, here we go. Okay, we're not going to go. Let's try it again. Angry Meme Review. Welcome to another edition of Angry Meme Review. I'm your host, AC, and this is where I break down some of your fantastic military memes that you send to me by tagging hashtag Angry Meme Review on the Instagrams, Twitters, Reddits, Feed Finders, P-Hub, and within those fantastic hysterical memes are often disturbing, intrusive thoughts. That See, even even Angry Cops knows that Pornhub is the most superior website when it comes to pornography. Because he could have mentioned anything else but decided to go with Pornhub. I'm telling you. I'm not lying. I'm not making shit up. It is the bee's knees. And its elbows. Us as veterans and military members often have, so... The worse, the better. And let me tell you, the first one we're going to start off with is probably one of the most disturbing memes I've ever came across. And I laughed way too hard at it. And I'm sure you will too. In every angry meme review, there is homework that I assign. And last one was no different. This is your homework. Was your homework for this that. episode. So we're going to see how we break down this triad of me getting more and more afraid of what I see on my phone. But before we get into all the random memes and your homework, a word from our sponsor. Have you or a private around you ever gotten in a car accident? Injured and not know what to do? Well, why don't you give a call to my buddies at Morgan & Morgan Law right. Firms. That's right. The Morgan & Morgan Law Firm is the largest injury law firm in the United States with over 800 attorneys under their belt working out of And we're back for the memes! The Taliban bomb maker, after watching his seven-year-old daughter run up to the American tank with 11 pounds of C4 in her Hello Kitty backpack. Nothing happened to that tank, that's for sure. Good kid. I said disturbing! I said disturbing! That's not false either. Let's 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 run it back one more time. Let's run it back one more time, because this is actually true. Over there, okay? The the men of this country are so fucking cowardly that they will literally get either the females or their children to do their bidding for them because they're that pathetic. It's true. It really is. This meme is 100% true. The Taliban bomb maker, after watching his seven-year-old daughter run up to the American tank with 11 pounds of C4 in her Hello Kitty backpack. I said disturbing. I said disturbing. So buckle up. And if you laughed at that, then you, you're, we're gonna get along here. Yeah. ACH helmet, 250 bucks. IOTV body armor, 500. M4 for a backup weapon, 700. Browning M2 machine gun, $14,000. That's a fucking steal. Yeah. Forgetting about the piss bottle in the background before taking a hua hot soldier selfie to impress Jody at home. Priceless. There's some things. Listen. If you're in the service and you first off, I don't know why this soldier is wearing deltoid pads. That's so fucking lame and dumb and stupid. And I never wore these things because, well, let me just go over it again. It's lame and fucking stupid. Uh, anyways, the piss bottle, bro. He's in the turd. He's behind. He's behind the 50 cal right now. I don't know if this is in Iraq or Afghanistan. I honestly can't tell. I want to say Iraq because he's wearing these goggles on top of his helmet, whereas in I didn't have goggles on my helmet because my NVGs were up there. But the piss bottle. I remember one time, and I think I've told some of y'all this story before, but for, for those of you that haven't heard this story and you're new, one time we were on mission. I was in the turret. 
and I had to pee really, really badly. So I took an empty Gatorade bottle and whipped my dick out and pissed, <laughs> pissed in the bottle, right? Our driver hit a pothole. The, I, I, was, I was pretty much almost done pissing, filled the bottle up to a, a, a decent amount. So like, this was the bottle, I filled it up to like right here. Well, like right there. Our driver hit a pothole and the bottle went out of, went flying out of my fucking hands and hit the center console and piss went everywhere. Piss all over the driver, piss all over the TC, piss all over my legs, piss all over, piss everywhere. And uh, they, they, they weren't, that there was almost some blue on blue that day. Almost some blue on blue. They were not happy with me whatsoever. Money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. In case you don't know what a piss bottle is, it's that yellow bottle filled with his foamy piss. And God bless him. Why are you saving it? I was going to compliment him and saying, hey man, commitment to the cause, like staying up in the gun. You ever have, let me tell you, the hour, we're going to have a conversation. I used to just yeet those things out. Really. You piss in some trash, fucking famous, famous cookies, famous, famous rappers, uh, cliff bars, Gatorade bottles, the, the to-go plate that I took from the defect with me with like old stale spaghetti in it. Man, if I didn't need it, out. Out of the fucking truck. Wait, XMC, you mean that you littered in the country of Afghanistan? Yes, of course. I littered in a country that's full of shit, piss, blood, and dead bodies. Fucking forgive me. Conversation. I've had buddies do that, where you're in a shitty part of town, and they gotta stay in the gun, but they gotta pee. So they have to, like, turn around and, like, pee in a bottle. And if their sector fires this way, and your face happens to be there... They try to like stand there looking at the sector of fire, but also pee to the side. You've got it. If you're in the truck, you've got a tick in your face as yeah. it's peeing, which is yeah. not a fun place to be. Yeah. Anyway, so that was that was going to be my props to him for being a good gunner and, you know, not leaving his post. But the negative None, thing up? here is why don't you just throw that away to the children, dude? It's a piss bottle. Oh, to the children. No, 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 the Iraqi kids are going to pick it up and they're going to think that's lemonade. Oh, there's no winning here. There's no winning here. This is delicious. Yeah, that's funny, angry cops. What do you mean? They pick it up thinking it's some kind of drink and they drink it. That's fantastic. Fuck them kids. This, this is suspicious. Americans. Wait, oh. what is this? This is delicious. This is delicious. This is suspicious. Yo, that girl looks really, really happy to be holding that big, long-ass thing right here. That is suspicious. I doubt she likes it that big. That's, I'm just saying. Delicious. This. You need to settle down. <laughs> is suspicious. Americans. Both. Both is good. Army transitions from hand grenades, replacing them with the faulty SIG P320s. <laughs> For those that- Ran out of ammo and you just fucking, <laughs> you yeet your gun at the fucking enemy. I'm waiting for someone to do that in real life, not just John Wick. Of you that don't know, the uh, Army's new sidearm is the SIG P320. And we found out that if you drop it at the right angle, it will just fire off around. So we are really good at testing shit. What do you call that? Research? Research and development? R&R? and &R. R &D. Research and, and something else? R &D, We're bro. really good at R&R. &R. <laughs> Why don't more companies give us their shit to see how durable it is? Come on, government, we could be making money here, right? Take down the debt a little bit. Bump up the pay for soldiers, airmen, marine, etc. Give the grunts a bunch of shit and figure out how it's not supposed to work and be broken. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about that angry cop. I, I'd say give it to the Marines first. They'll, they'll use anything and they'll try anything and they'll go for anything. I, the, the Marines pretty much invent, the Marines pretty much invented, hey guys, watch this. That's, that's just pretty much it. And, and then we give it back to them and say, hey, here's some things you might want to fix. We're making big business decisions here. This isn't a meme. This is just- Ew. What is that? Ashley. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
us a rusty as shit Mark 19. That should be a cursed gun image. So oh. many. Oh. I didn't notice it at first. I had, I had no idea what that was at first. That that needs to be thrown away. Immediately. That needs to be scrapped. Or at the very least, given to the newest soldier that enters the platoon and being like, hey, you're, you're going to fire this. If, if you can make it work, you'll get, you'll get a field grade promotion. Needs to send that to Brandon. That, that is cursed. Yeah. My, my sphincter tightened up so fast when I saw that rusty weapon. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh. I saw the butterfly trigger and the handle, and I was like, at first I was like, a 50? No, it's too small to be a 50. And then I forget, Mark 19. Oh, that is somebody's fault, and I'm so happy it's not mine. Enjoy! That's the arm sergeant's fault. Ain't nobody else at fault but the arm sergeant. The, the sergeant that's in charge of the armory. Because, you know how long a soldier would have to have this in his possession for it to become this way? It's way too long. Way too long. That would, that would imply that the soldier took this home with him. Or that the soldier had this in his barracks room. Or that the soldier had this in his possession for anywhere from six months to a year. Doing nothing. In their garage or in their basement. This is the fault of the arms sergeant. Mm-hmm. Hey, getting demoted. Because your company commander is definitely going to be not so happy. Mm -hmm. And your first sergeant is definitely not going to be so happy when they see that. Hey, did you guys know that Joe Biden fell down? Yeah, it was great. I did. It was fantastic. Every recruit with Tiny Heart <laughs> Syndrome. I quit. And everybody just screaming at him, get up, get up! Yeah. VA, your hearing loss is non-service connected. Bullshit. Sure about that? You sure about that? Because you all didn't land a single hit on the range. The next exercise is the push-up in cadence yeah. exercise. United States Air Force. Lord. United States Marine Corps. Yeah. Oh no, we moved some of your stuff on your bed. <laughs> Guys, the cleaners are gonna be so upset. Marines. We're gonna destroy everything. The hottest reality Fuck series you. is rolling to a new network. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta is now on MTV, starting tomorrow at eight. No one cares. Are you interested in the specific gun laws for your state? Not if right not, now. No worries, simply skip this video. However, yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Bud Light Battle Buddy, <laughs> an M4, Ada Lube, a marital aid. That's the end of the randomness. Now it's time for your homework. The meme template that I sent you last angry meme review. Waking up from a nice nap and checking your phone. Remembering you were on duty and seeing a text from first sergeant. Landline, 10 hundred oh. range. Zero seven weapon straw. Zero four formation. What's that? It's my favorite meme for Angry Meme Review. Uh, and what does she get for this fantastic meme that she gave to us today and shared with the rest of the Angry Cops community? This is just so irritating, man. 10 hundred range, zero, oh, 0700 weapons draw, oh, 0400 formation. You know how fucking annoying that shit is? I don't know what any of you do for a living or where y'all work. But just imagine your boss says, hey, we got something to do at 10 o'clock in the morning. And in order to prepare for this thing that we have to do at 10 o'clock in the morning, I want you here at 3.45 a.m. Because guess what? 0400 formation, that means that your sergeant is going to be like, well, guys and gals, since we have 0400, 0400 formation, guess what you need to do? You need to be here 15 minutes prior. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Your team leader is going to say, you need to be here 15 minutes prior to that. Which means that you got to be there at 3.30. Which means that, and if you live off post, that means you need to wake up at, I don't know, anywhere from 0.245 to 0.250. To brush your teeth, get ready, hate your life for about five whole minutes, curse the gods, get in your car, get to fucking work and deal with the bullshit that's not going to start for another five hours! It's so irritating, man. Holy shit. Why she gets a brand new Voodoo Tactical Level 3 Assault Pack. Perfect for picking up books or throwing small children in, putting in level 4 plate carriers, and maybe even a foldable class. Yeah, we gotta put it in emote only. Yeah, here we go. Two minutes of that. We'll do, uh, we'll do the rest of this video in emote only. <sighs> appreciate it. Appreciate it, Stromnesis.
full AR-15 style or some other variant. Heck, maybe even an MP7 when they come over to the United States. All this is yours, Haley Brooks. Just make sure to contact me via Instagram DMs and I'll hook you up with your very own Voodoo Tactile bag. Angry Cops posted a new video. You recognize the base. Uh. Your name gets mentioned <laughs> as a photo of you appears. Yeah, you know you're in trouble. Yeah. You find a porno on your Battle Buddies deployment hard drive. Starts off before the girls ever come in. The girls never came. This reminds me. This reminds me. You find a porno on your Battle Buddies deployment hard drive. We all had external hard drives, and basically all we had was movies and porn, right? It was about 50-50. I had a lot of movies. I had a lot of porn. And so one of my buddies was like, hey, man, I have something on my hard drive that I want you to watch. It's just, it's, it'll blow your fucking mind. And I was like, sure, right? I didn't know what it could be, but I trusted this man, right? Trusted him enough that he would show me something that would either blow my mind or uh or make me say what the fuck in some kind of way or at the very least i thought it was gonna be funny it starts off right it was about an hour and 10 minutes long i was like is this like a clip or a video or a movie i don't have time for this shit bro i gotta go to the mwr and call home like i don't really have time he's like no no no. it's just this one part that i want you to watch so he brings his hard drive over puts it in my computer pulls it up and essentially it's he sh it's it's a movie i don't i can't remember what movie it's called <clears throat> but he fast forwards to a part of a guy staring at himself in the mirror butt naked and then starts jerking it in the mirror while he's staring at himself and then gets in a, a position to where his shoulders are on the ground right and his legs are up in the air and it's almost like that stretch that you used to do in sports, right? You're stretching like your lower back and stuff like that. You put your legs up in the air. It's kind of like a reverse downward dog, but it's just like your legs are straight up and like they're just straight. You see Olympus and gymnasts do this shit all the time. And he's still jerking it in this position and then proceeds to jizz all over his face. Exactly. And I was like, get that shit off my computer. Get the fuck away from me. I, I never want to talk to you again. I'm I'm going to the MDV. I'm going to pretend like I don't know you. And for the next week, we're not friends. You know what? On mission, on our foot patrols, you walk on the other side of the street. I'm not walking behind you, and I don't want you behind me. Fucking bastard. Starts off before the girls ever come in. The girls never came. That actually could be. That's a double entendre yeah. there. They never came, as in they never arrived, and they never came. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag female porn star orgasms matter. You're a Russian conscript using a spicy drone. Your drone gets hijacked. It's returning. Oh, shit. First sergeant finds your missing private in the field. Private lost his rifle. And his NVGs? That's why you- I, I, I don't know if you guys know how, how, how awful it is for everyone if this happens. First sergeant finds your missing private in the field. He's not talking about your, your fun parts. He's talking about- that one fucking dumbass. Probably brand new, just got out of basic training last week, and uh, he missed movement, right? Not only did he miss movement, he lost his rifle. Not only did he lose his rifle, Private lost his rifle. And his NVGs. NVGs stand for Night Vision Goggles, or NODs, Night Optical Devices, right? So... I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys understand. These are, these are considered sensitive items, and when they're lost, it's not just the private that's in trouble. It's not just the first sergeant and the commander. It's you too. Was it your fault? No, but you're getting yelled at. Did you lose it? No, but you're gonna go look for it. It's fucking irritating, and this can take anywhere from thirty minutes to thirty days. They will literally have you out there for hours, hours, days, weeks months until y'all find what was lost whether it was your fault or not whether the soldier is in your squad or not whether the soldier is in your platoon or not it gets fucking dumb and all you want to do all you want to do is strangle the shit out of this private but you can't but you want to and some of you may even try i've seen it and his nvgs that's why you dummy cord everything Bye, 50 cord, bro.
tie the 550 cord to your NVGs, and you take that 550 cord, you put a D-ring around it, and you put that D-ring on your belt loop. That way, even if it falls out of your pocket, it's still connected to your body. <sighs> Dummy cord. Donut operator uploads a new video in Buffalo, New York. Oh, shit. This cop looks dot, dot, dot <laughs> angry. I've been there before. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, Sergeant, what's up? You forget something today at training? No, I don't think so. Mm. You sure? Oh, look, my friends made a new video. Your response to that should be like, I'll be there at zero three. Donut. Donut. Try like a light, like bump fire thing. <laughs> <laughs> stream for tomorrow. Streams for 15 minutes. No signal. <laughs> I'm live streaming and I've done about four or five of them and each one has had some small <laughs> issue. I think that not this most recent one, but the previous one was the most smooth I know that it how ran. That goes. And uh, it's, yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning, but we're having a good time there. Swing by the live streams. Your battle buddy coming to you for advice. Starts name dropping Command Sergeant Majors and Battalion Commander's wives and daughter's names. Wait, let me see how this started. I'm there. Swing by the live streams. Your battle Your battle buddy coming to you for advice. Battle buddy coming to you for advice. Start Starts name dropping Command Sergeant Majors and Battalion Commanding Officers or Battalion Colonels, what whatever. Wives and daughters' names, get out of my room. Get away from me. Don't speak anymore. Get away from me. We're not friends until whatever you did or whatever is happening with you gets resolved. Bye. And don't say that you came here. Don't say that you know me. We're not cool until no. Bye. That's awful. No. No, sir. Uh-uh. That's... <laughs> That's name dropping Command Sergeant Majors and Battalion Commander's wives and daughters' names. Finding out you're not- Finding out you're now an accessory to a recent gangbang. <laughs> oh, these high ranking, these high ranking NCOs and, and commanders do be have some trifling ass fucking daughters, bro. They really do. Now an accessory to a recent gangbang. Checking your LES. Checking you got paid 2,000 more than usual. That's not good. That is not good at all. You need to go to finance and get that rectified right now because if you if you don't say anything and you keep getting paid what you're not supposed to be getting paid, the military is going to fuck you. You've been getting 2000 more per paycheck for the last 8 months. If you if you spent that money, guess what? You are going to have to pay back that money. That's why if you're in the military, you get your LES on payday. If you get paid one single penny more than what you're supposed to and you don't go to you don't go to finance and get it rectified the military is eventually going to find out that they gave you ill-gotten gains and the military is not about giving out free shit they one they're going to counsel you and or give you an article 15 for failing to report the discrepancy and once you either report the discrepancy or they find out about the discrepancy, guess what they're going to do? They are going to dock your pay for as long as it takes for you to pay back what they paid you. Even if it's their mistake, guess what? It doesn't matter. You're fucked. You don't know what that means. That means the government's going to be taking all that money back right away. Yep. I hope you didn't spend a fucking penny of it. The CEO is doing health and comfort inspection. Remembering health and comfort inspection. I think it's more like health and welfare, but I'll let it slide. The dead hooker in your wall locker. Oh, Lord. Knocking on the barracks room door. That's why you should always lock your wall locker, my friends. Just in case you do have a dead hooker inside of your wall locker. If you lock your wall locker, they need a warrant to open it. If you don't lock your wall locker, they can just go through it willy nilly because they can. It's, yeah. Remembering the dead hooker in your wall locker. Knocking on the barracks room door. Military is going to take care of you. You have cancer. They're not going to From take care drinking of the water. <laughs> have you or anyone you know been stationed at Camp Lejeune and drank the water? You may be owed legal compensation. <laughs> Trying to make people laugh on social media. Check notifications. Your post goes against our. I have been here. I have been here. The amount of times I've uploaded something and I'm just like, oh man, the XMC fam is going to be rolling on this one. 
And then the next day I go to check comments and I see this. Your post that goes against the community guidelines because we're soft fucking pussies. Community guidelines. Mm -hmm. If that isn't the veteran social media sphere, I don't know what is. Yeah. When my homework is blank and due in five minutes. I've been there. <laughs> Way to think outside the box. Very simple, but very... Open your uh, phone to see the text you just got from your squad leader. Formation downstairs, every swinging dick better be there in five minutes. You're in a different city. Mm. Receiving grids for night land nav. That's bad. Then you got to tell your you got to tell your NCO, hey man, I won't be there. Why won't you be there? Because I'm not I'm not anywhere near there. Why are you, how far are you? I'm 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 in Kansas. Why the fuck are you in Kansas? You're stationed in Georgia. Yeah, well I I wanted I wanted I I, I wanted to I, th there was this girl. See you know and um yeah. And when you're in the military, unless you're going on leave, I I forget the distance, but you can't go further than 250 miles. If you're going further than 250 miles away from the military installation, you have to fill out a leave form and you have to get that leave form approved by your commanding officer. If you don't have a leave form and you go further than 250 miles and you miss a recall formation or you miss any kind of movement or you miss any kind of anything, you're in trouble, like something fierce. It's kind of annoying, but because you know, it's fucking Saturday. These sound kind of far apart. Shortest movement is 2,400 meters. After a night of drinking with your friends, you check your bank account. Oh, you spent a thousand dollars at a strip club. Been there. It was a gay bar. Ooh, That's have, all that we have. Definitely haven't been there. I can't say I relate, but I have definitely spent. Oh, about like, I think the first, the, the most I ever spent at a strip club wasn't even an American currency. It was in Euro. Yeah, fuck me. It was like about uh, somewhere in the ballpark of like uh, 820 Euro, which is the equivalent of, you know, after the fucking, uh, after the exchange, or not the, the fucking, the exchange rate. After all that, it's like almost a thousand dollars American. It's gross. It feels bad. For this angry meme review, you've done a fantastic job on your homework. Reddit came in as always, but I need your help. I'm running out of meme templates. So submit your meme templates to hashtag angry meme review along with this episode's homework. Which are these three drunken sailors? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? I am the morning. I'm gonna make up. These these three sailors probably did butt stuff with each other. A meme out of them. I'm gonna make a meme out of them. I'm gonna make a meme out of them early in the morning. Uh, I don't know if that should stay in or not, but I feel like. I mean, technically, what? It is fucking Pride Month. You could use the, you could use this fucking photo for. Never lie in the morning. Uh, oh, I don't Lord. know if that should stay in or not, but I feel like it shows how excited I am for your memes. I said it once, I'll say it again. I'm doing live streams now. Check out the live streams, they get uploaded. Even if you miss out on the live and the fantastic conversations that go along oh, in the yeah. comment section of the live streams, the chat, as the young kids call it, you can still watch the video after it's been uploaded and get a taste for what goes on in the military community. See you next time, weirdos. Share this P with the bottle, buddy. On P Hub of like angry girl sergeant effing up a young recruit. Oh, sorry, you're still here. I wonder if there's a video on Pornhub of someone with a drill sergeant hat just taking a girl to Pound Town. I wonder. Now that he said it, it's got me curious. Babe, can you Google that real quick? Google, go to Pornhub and Google uh, drill sergeant bangs young recruit. And see if he has the hat on. It's probably gonna be like some spoof parody type shit. I doubt that there's any actual drill sergeant out there that has the balls to upload himself <laughs> doing that. But <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't do it here, astronomers. So, is it gay porn? There's a few. A few what? I knew it. Yeah, you were right, nothing. <laughs> he said it. It's probably gonna be gay porn. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't have you looking at shit. What is it? She said a lot of ugly penises, a lot of ugly vaginas, and very hairy ones. That's what she. You're not even looking for what I for for what I. I think the word drill is just making a whole bunch of stuff. I, I 
I use that word for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> drill sergeant pounds young recruit. No, I don't really think the terminology matters. I just. I drill. drill sergeant is two words. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what, what'd you see? Oh lord, hold on. <laughs> she just freaked out. Hold on. Literally had her top. Oh, with an actual drill. Well, you probably got that from Ace Hardware. Or Lowe's. <laughs> <laughs> hefty drill. I'm going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot. Yo, a homie has an actual drill from like fucking Lowe's. Okay, now I'm interested. <laughs> like, now I've got a lot. That's crazy. She's like mounted on the wall, and he's got like a fucking she's like. Literally strung up like Jesus. Strung yeah, she's strung up like Jesus, and she's like just getting literally getting drilled with a drill, a fucking Stanley probably. Dude, I'm just saying, but I think it came up with a. Holy fuck! Let me see. Did is it a video? Yeah. It's like it's one of those devices that like what's that? What's the I think it's a drill saw. Hold on, let me Google what it is. Just so I can show you for reference. It's like a, dr a drill saw jackhammer or something. I think it's a drill saw blade. This. It's this. Yeah. It's fucking this. Yeah! Except, it's this. <laughs> this is what he had. This is what he was using. And instead of a drill bit at the end, it had like a saw, like a cutting tool. And then attached to the cutting tool was a BBC dildo. And yeah, she was getting fucking crucified. 